Yeah, those warmer nights are a very understated change in the climate, and that has impacts all around us. Here in central Missouri, we would typically expect to see our first frost of the year around mid to late October. We're now approaching this time, but we've not really gotten anywhere near as cold enough. We've gotten close, but really not seeing those 30s we'd like for frost development. Our lows recently have really been bottoming out in the 40s. Uh, that is still the more seasonal for early October, uh, though in the forecast for the second half of the month, not expecting to really Again, see much of that frost here in the forecast, and it might be harder to get down to those really chilly nights as nationwide we are seeing our nights warming. Even in mid-Missouri here, we see in the summertime our nights can expect to be about one and a half degrees warmer, but into the winter time, that's where we're seeing warming more than two degrees here. Uh, and that's even more exaggerated across the west and northeast where they can expect that change anywhere from three to four degrees warmer overnight. Warmer nights get less attention than record-breaking hot days, but we still see impacts to the environment and our daily life. Invasive bugs can move into previously colder areas. We can see impacts to the growing and harvest season, and allergy season can even be extended thanks to a lack of frost. People also feel other effects from the heat, and I reached out to Matt Beitscher from the National Weather Service for more on these effects. It is definitely the most impactful during the summer just because the temperature is the hottest during the summer. And as a matter of fact, um, three out of our five warmest Junes on average, when you talk about overnight lows, have occurred in the last five years. 75 degree lows or 80 degree lows, that's really impactful for people. It's a cumulative effect that will eventually take its toll on, on susceptible groups like elderly or people with pre-existing conditions. As nights continue to warm faster than days, we will continue to see more of those impacts and maybe less of those frosty nights. And our forecast is staying warmer here, not looking at that frost in the coming weeks as we are seeing a delay in that typical time for that. And we will continue to track those warmer overnight temperatures. Reporting for tonight's Climate Matters, I'm ABC 17 Storm Track Meteorologist Nate Splater. If you're having trouble breaking the habit of pressing your snooze button every morning, well, new research suggests you might not need to worry. And if you're a T-Mobile customer, you'll want to hear about the latest consumer alert. If you or a family member are hurt in a car wreck, finding an attorney you trust can make all the difference. We're a local law firm that is on your side. We live here. We work here. We fight for our clients in court here. We're part of the community you live in. The team at Call & Gentry is ready to fight for you when you need it most. Call & Gentry the local law firm to call when you've been hurt.